Me no black folks. Uh, I apologize, but basically the talk is faster communication. Uh, if remember, we know we can't give a hoot about this. This is a government check right here. Always, and every once in a while, they'll put a couple more. Especially since I made a comment, now there'll probably be some more dislikes. This can't be counted, even whether if it's high. It could be six hundred and fourteen thousand. It could be six thousand fourteen. It could be fourteen views. Okay, that's why sometimes I have statically went out and checked to see if we're actually getting played or whatever. Well, we're always getting played because the numbers are low, but the the truth bleed bleeds. Okay, when truthful goes, truthful goes, and then when they start playing with something so much, you got spin because because we know it's seven point nine to begin with, seven point six we could almost live with. But then they put it down to a 7.4 or something quake in Mexico. And on the boob tube, you never heard anything about it yesterday. Okay, so let's go to some more truth, facts, data. Now, this was sent to me, and basically I don't name drop uh, unless somebody wants to be proud of who they are and strut their rooster feathers and be right out in front of everybody. Okay, uh, face plastered all over the newspaper, boom, 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 whatever. Now, Vino is not scared of anybody. Eventually, more than likely, some rich power, money, and control is going to go, boom, TV camera, satellite, there he is. That's him. That's that. And, yep, and he is, no, nope, and he is, no, nope, someday, yep, yeah, no, nope, yep, you don't know. And where I live, where I was born and raised, everything is privileged. We keep our constitutional rights and Nothing is anybody's business unless you cross the line and then you get to be exposed to show exactly the piece of crap that you are. Okay, That's how the world works in America, it's supposed to every day. Now, if you live in a state where they've always screwed with your state constitutional rights, maybe it's time to start protesting and making your state constitutional rights go right back to what they originally were so that you can have free speech and do whatever you basically American why your family members probably went in the military, maybe lost their lives, or came back home with scars on them because you uh, live and breathe constitutional rights because you're spoiled, rotten Americans, and we are spoiled, rotten Americans because people in our families have went to war and paid the price for freedom. Okay, Do not tread on me, be no black, 24-7 constitutional rights. This volcano up in, I believe this is the, uh, yeah, Mount Rainier, did a lot of little hopscotchy poopy. So there's probably a big old lava underneath the earth in its hotbed. Uh, we talked about, and I'll even say wrong words to get out the point real fast, about heights and altitude on our coronal. And we think that it's probably even bigger than what the scientists have ever been able to see of our coronal before of going through space. Uh, I think there's a lot of astrophysicists now that will kind of agree with that. It's like, wow, it's even bigger than what we can see or been able to measure before, okay, which is good for us, Earth, okay. We have this volcano activity that cools us down, gives us a pair of uh, sunglasses, lampshades for the supergiants because there's over 101 suns in the supergiant when the sun is there. And most of those suns, 100 of those 200 suns, basically, that are there, uh, there's a hundred of them that are f uh, four to seventy-eight times the size of the sun. Okay, and they're in this. The sun is in the supergiant's main sequence right now. Now, in our core of Earth, which we really don't, know, we kind of do. Basically, the secrets of state do of the solid state of America do, because the uh, challenge. All these shuttles have, or at least some of the shuttles have X-rayed Earth, and we pretty much know where every flipping thing is at. And when I mean everything, I'm gonna just going to bite my tongue a little bit, national security and everything like that. We know where everything is at, okay? Everything. And how much possible, you know, if there's a gallon of milk over here, if there's a gallon of water over there on Earth, underneath Earth, somewhere, the powers to be the solid state, they know, okay? Now, this guy was noticing what I've also noticed, and I think he probably got it from the deal I gave, the speed of how fast that the earthquake traveled from over in, I believe, Indonesia, oh, back over to uh, Mexico, because basically they were four minutes apart. And yes, it traveled that fast. I think it was something like 1,200 and something miles an hour, because it was 8,000 miles that that quake had to go on Earth. And basically the whole Earth has had a lot of earthquakes. 
okay? But the news and stuff hasn't sat there and said, you know, hey, this is a quake all over the damn world. It's not just in this one spot. And this is a good example right here, too, that this one isn't, wasn't, okay? And then we got lava underneath Earth, and this is Mount Rainier, okay? Mount Rainier went a little poopy here when the Mexico one went off. So there's a vein, and it's just like business structure in this country and all over the world, there's always a vein somewhere. Bino's a person that doesn't drop names. Bino's just a person. Bino is just Bino, and I love the U.S. military. And the world is at peace like you would not believe right now, because basically the world is going to stay that way because the world doesn't know what Mother Nature, and I use the word mother lightly too, because it's nature... It could be anything. It's a combination, okay? And this is actual data, in fact, from Mount Rainier. Went off at the same time. Didn't go off. And that's that's the stuff that's basically should make people start watching and going like, holy crap. Because, yes, all this from Mount Rainier at the same time that, and we can go to Yellowstone. and see if I can get to the, uh, I'll go through here and find the Yellowstone on the volcano thing because I've been into this stuff before. And actually, I'll just plop through the data pa real fast and show you that basically every volcano is pretty much active, okay? Because it still has the minerals in the ground that basically make, that's Mount Baker, okay? Now, I'm not saying, I am not checking times here. I'm not using times. But there's so much stuff to look at all over from the space to the ground. I basically, very intelligent people have the capacity, the bandwidth to go all over the spectrum, Okay? And I'm an electrician and know communications, and I know the spectrum very well. Very proud of the U.S. Navy and its contractors that the idea that we have the massive spectrum in the world and the idea that no one's ever going to figure out our spectrum because we expand our spectrum. We have the knowledge and the capability to do it and have it and keep it secretive so that the idea that no one else can figure out how to do it. So... As you see that we throw through these data real fast sheets, you'll see the names. I'm not even going to uh, tongue-tie myself. Uh, there's some more from Rainier. And let's see what we get. Here we go with this one. Now, there is one of uh, at Rainier. Now, I don't know. I'm wasting time with. So maybe are these all at Mount Rainier, this whole subset? So there's some action there from when... Not sure. So maybe this is all the Rainier subset, but we did go to Mount Baker, so this might be all Washington. There's St. Helens. So all this stuff is connected, folks. Everything is connected. Okay? That's why I always when someone says something, that means nothing. Uh, the most intelligent ape or gorilla or anything in the room always knows that everything's connected, okay? If there's something here, there, there's something over there, it's connected, okay? And there we go, uh, St. Helens. And I'm not paying attention to times and date, but that is the 20th. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to get, uh, I could go ahead and search and get Yellowstone in this video. Uh, basically, you can go to this one, and it should be any one of these will end up getting you out and back through to, you should be able to go to, uh, and there's Adams. So, just a crap load of everything going on everywhere. And the veins, because there are certain veins that are connected, and i.e., certain veins that aren't really, but they still had a little spike in a certain mineral path in Earth. Okay? Because there's St. Helens at Cedar Flats. Okay? Flats, because everything probably at one thousands or who millions of years ago or something already blew its ass off and shot out all the minerals that could possibly have anything happen now. And plus also flats could be the lower area, uh, the flatland area around there. Okay? And there's Mount Hood. And as you see, pay attention to the names.
And there you go. Flag point. So the first one I ever showed you, remember that one was what someone bumped into that the idea that it was at the same time. And there's Oregon. Okay. The Newberry Caldera. So everybody's got some thermal uptick. Everybody. The whole flipping world. Okay. And then when you go to RSOE, and then basically you just have to figure it out for yourself. Uh, keep in mind the heat index that I was showing you, or talking to people at the talk site yesterday. And we know where that's at. So you have that stuff. Okay, and then we have record heat temperatures. So, and everything's connected from the space weather to the supergiants to... Because the super giants, something, a star somewhere lit up something in minerals along the Japan, which is a volcanic ring of fire, and caused the earthquake. And then the earthquake, in combination with light from stars, lit up a, a nuclear. So, the German scientists were smart enough to go ahead and now I don't even have to go into it too much because I either we got earthquakes going on and I'm not sure if that's the one that's sending off the red ring right now we got a lot of activity in Alaska the volcanoes you got to watch them up there they're really hot I showed those in recent videos in the last month and also uh, the western United States is lighting up and it's connected to as you can see on the map and you already know in your brain hopefully that right there and it's like I said they have the 7.4 of my last video. They have the 7.4 hidden because you basically they don't have anything blinking. And you got to go ahead and search. You're probably totally in the wrong spot. We're up in Iceland. And yes, the volcano is up there. I mean, you know about that one a few years, or what was it, two years ago or whatever? Three, within the last three years, we had that one up in uh, somewhere up in Iceland or whatever. And the idea that. Uh, you got a 1.5, I guess, today is what the one's blinking. And the 7.4 is all hidden away here that you have to click into it. And you even click on it, it doesn't show it. You got to get the details. And do they even tell us it's a 7.4 in here? So, basically, everything's getting put to the squeegee back into the corner. Now, this site is going to end up losing its credibility if it doesn't start saying what the stuff was because basically before it used to go ahead and show what was going on and that's when I clicked on the United Kingdom okay so somebody somewhere in world power is squishing the news okay the news is getting choked now this is from and I'll, you'll have the heading it's this is reliable okay Alaskan volcano is rumbling. Cleveland volcano is stirring. Kanega calming down again. Okay. Our hazard maps, General Washington Post. The, I don't want. I don't like relying on newspapers that much sometimes because they are owned by somebody. Uh, satellites that watch the tsunamis, for, watch out for them. Power's outage was on. I don't know, something be either on 314 or before 314. So, and then there's, a, the, you know, what's, you know, anybody, if anybody's trying to scare anybody, what the hell is going on? What is the backup power? Okay, uninterrupted power. Uh, and this is very interesting here. Right? Okay. Here's the recorder of SATSOP. M3.3, that's magnitude 3.3 yesterday. And this was put on the 19th, so on the 18th they had that. When your earthquake, the article on the 22nd, let's go to this. Nuclear power shaking very close to a problem. Okay. Also, we know the West Coast, without dropping too many names, you need to check into because the idea that they've had the same... And it all basically bleeds back to uh, Beano Black, Shade Tree, uh, everything. And I don't.